Um, Avery the Ham asks in the Discord, for components with wide ranges of acceptable voltage, is there any guideline? What? That's weird. Is there any guideline? Why is that not working correctly? That's weird. Okay. Uh, is there any guideline for uh, how to handle the acceptable voltage? Uh, any best practice? Do you aim for the high end or the low end? Um, so if you've got a component that can take between, let's say, uh, that's weird that it's, is it three to six volts? What was it? Three to nine, three to 12 volts? Three, that's weird. Uh, the reason I say that's weird is this device is probably running 3.3 volts internally. Uh, that's that's a common voltage that's used for components like this. My guess is that's what it's running. What The reason this is weird is that the typical way to build a 3.3 volt device would be to have an, a 3.3 volt step down regulator and it takes four volts to 12 volts in and steps it down to 3.3 volts. The fact that it can take three volts in, maybe the stuff internally is tolerant of as low as three volts, even though it's nominally running at 3.3 volts. Maybe it can go down to 2.9 volts. I don't know. But um, usually what you'd have is it's running internally at, let's say, five volts or 3.3 volts, and the regulator is rated down to, let's say, seven volts. At that point, the higher the voltage you feed it, the less amps it will pull, okay? Uh, but the higher the voltage you feed it, oftentimes there will be more heat buildup. That depends on what the, the way the regulator is designed, especially with a linear regulator. The higher the voltage you feed it, the more heat buildup there will be. So with a linear regulator, you often would like to feed it a lower voltage uh, because you, it'll run cooler and you'll be able to pull more amps without without shutting it down. Most stuff today uses switching regulators, though, and they don't have as much of a problem. Switching regulators tend to be basically agnostic to the input voltage, as long as it's within their rated range. With a switching regulator, your efficiency is usually not going to change very much. You will pull fewer amps, but the heat buildup and the efficiency are not going to change very much. The only thing that I do know is that uh, with a switching regulator, the higher the voltage you give it, the more filtering you will get uh, by the regulator itself because it's stepping it down lower and filtering it more aggressively. Um, so in general, the other thing is that, well, no, I, I won't say that. So in general, if you have a device with a switching regulator, it doesn't usually matter very much. Give it whatever voltage is convenient. Uh, that's what I would say. 